kick-starting my day with a little wisdom to fear God hold him in reverence is to embark on the path of wisdom encouragement from Proverbs he who conceals his sins does not prosper but whoever confesses and renounces them finds mercy 2813 challenge from Proverbs love this trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding in all your ways acknowledge him and he will make your paths straight Proverbs 3 5 6 Wow, good stuff. Hope you'll join me. Linda here, Serene and Simple Life. Sitting here reading from my Celebrate Recovery Bible, the NIV. This, I do believe, was given to me in 2008 at Saddleback when I lived in California with my daughter. And sitting here with the coffee, my highlighter, and I am going through the New Testament. Each day I read one chapter. I used to try to read more, and it just, um, I don't know, overwhelmed me to the point where I was just reading the words and not really internalizing what the message was. And then I check off when I've read the chapter. To be honest, I've missed a couple days, and then I try to, I, I only miss one day in between, and then I'll go back and I'll read two chapters instead of just one because I feel guilty. And then after I read from the New Testament, then I go into Psalms and I just pick a Psalm, just random, like how people have said you just open the Bible and that word is for you for the day. And I've already read Psalm 139. Let's see what it says. Even the darkness will not be dark to you. The night will shine like the day. For darkness is as light to you. Wow. I was just thinking about one of those days when I might get my own land, if that be in God's will, and whether I could live in an area where I didn't have close by neighbors. And I was thinking about daylight and how that's not a problem, but then in the dark, things feel different. I mean, I am dead serious. I was literally just thinking that 10 minutes ago. And this is the verse that I'm sharing with you. All the days ordained for me were written in your book before one of them came to be. All right, then from Psalms, I head over to Proverbs. And until I run out... I put like, I look at like, okay, today's I'm going to do 13 instead of doing a random one. So then I go to 13, which I'm sure I've already done now because I'm showing you how I do it. Or I went to 9. Yeah, 13. And then I'll read Proverbs 13. Pride only breeds quarrels, but wisdom is found in those who take advice. Hope deferred makes the heart sick, but a longing fulfilled is a tree of life. I say a little prayer before I start for understanding and clarity and to be used by God for the day and to apply his word, to understand what he is trying to uh, get through to me, sometimes a very thick head. And then I go on to reading from the New Testament, I select a Psalms randomly, and then I select a Proverbs based on the number that I read in Psalms. That's so pretty. I don't know, probably sit here for about 20 minutes, and then I get on with my day. I've got a really exciting project that I'm starting, and uh, I'll show you what I end up doing. 
I hope you enjoyed seeing how I start my day here at Rocky Pine Retreat. I'm so excited to show you a new day, a new project. I'm going to get the bar stool out of the way. It's a rather low bar stool, but I like to stand here. This is, for those of you who are new, one of my workstations here in Rocky Pine Retreat. I love standing here. Uh, this is a countertop that connects with the uh, kitchen. It's an L shape. I custom designed this and have a beautiful window to look out, which is really makes it really special to work here. Live in gratitude all day, every day. I do live in gratitude, but I like the in your face. I like the reminder because we're human and I can get grumpy and I can um, think about sometimes how I wish things were and then I pull myself back in and I go for living gratitude. I made a little smoothie here this morning with banana and uh, one teaspoon of the green uh, protein powder, some frozen strawberries, a little bit of milk, and a little bit of Greek yogurt. It's really tasty. I like it. I wish it had a banana color though. <laughs> the green powder does that. To me, that's an ugly pea green. Anyways, I guess that's a color that's kind of in style now. There's a couple homes around here that are a little darker than that and they're green. Trivia, today's project. Yes, let's get on with it. I have five frames here that I have had probably a good long time now. And they had family photos in them, mostly. I think all of them, yeah. And I decided to take those out. The family photos are days gone by. And I don't know if I've mentioned to you before, but sometimes family photos, yes, they can help you to live in gratitude, but they can also be bittersweet because they're days gone by. I won't belabor the point here. So I decided that I would take the, the family photos out and I'm going to put some of my travel experiences in these frames. So we've got a beautiful silver one. We've got, this looks like roses along here. I like it. And we've got the five by seven gold. I actually can almost visualize what pictures were in here because I had them in for the longest time. And they were on a shelf. Um, yeah talked about memories before. This is really pretty. And then we've got a simple black one. I have photos. If you have been, if you consistently watch me, I'm showing you some of the projects I'm doing inside um, Rocky Pine Retreat and really um, enjoying sharing these with you. It makes, it makes my day fun for you to come alongside me. So thank you. These are four by sixes that I had printed right off my uh, computer and my home printer. Used quite a bit of ink. I'm not sure. I liked being able to just stay here and print them rather than order them and have to go pick them up. But I may pick a couple of these to put in the four by sixes or I may print a couple new ones. As I continue to go through my photos, I probably hearted about, I don't know, 30 or 40. And so far I've printed out, I think 14. So I'm gonna revisit my photos today on the computer in the iCloud. And then I print them from my phone actually, which I talked about the other day. And uh, print, I'm just gonna print out three five by sevens, maybe a couple more four by sixes if I decide I don't want to use these. Um, these are going to come in handy though. I've uh, created a game that I'm going to do at our first workshop 
of 2022, um, targeting May. I don't know for sure. It's just in my head now. I've got some stuff on paper. Um, if my book is published by then, I want my book published because it's going to have workbook section where you can take notes and stuff. So I think it'll be very handy to have at this meetup workshop. Designing it for car, SUV, and uh, minivan dwellers. Um, just because that's what I know best. And that's where I want to start right now. Uh, not to exclude anybody, it's just that's how that's going to be because I'm going to keep it limited too. Well, enough on that for now. That's not the project of the day. We're going to go over to the computer and start to revisit photos. I'll probably be looking at them for an hour or more. I'll have some, I don't know, Steve Bannon. Um, then Jaron Jackson comes on at noon. Um, yeah, those are the people that I like to tune into in the morning, the talking heads. So keep watching. I'll show you what I do when I start to print them out and uh, put them in the frames. Headed to my desk now. Yeah, another workstation. I love variety and choices. Here is, wow, good morning, Linda. How did they know? That's awesome. This is a new um, Lenovo. Uh, I think it ran me, I don't know. It was like a mid-range. Five, six hundred dollars. Ouch. But I'm thinking that I'll have it till I die. Being as my last computer, my laptop, it was an HP. I had that for like seven years and I think I fried it, carrying it around with me. It was in a bag, but still not good. Not good. So it uh, was intermittently sh uh, shutting down and overheating. So I was like, okay, it's time. I went to Best Buy just because that's what I knew to do from last time. I don't get their warranties or their specialties or anything like that. Anyways, I had saved up for it along with the cabin, but uh, that's not why we're here right now. I'm going to go to my photos uh, right here. They're in the iCloud, so hopefully they'll all pop up. We'll see in a minute, right? And... We just scroll, 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 and we're going to, I have a notebook. I don't have it right here right now. Look at those beautiful photos. Um, where I have uh, done little hearts on these. I showed you the other day how you can click on there and do a heart. And uh, let's see. Yeah, make it bigger. Awesome, almost 12,000 photos. Anyways, I also have these all laid out so that I don't uh, duplicate. And so I wrap my brain around what types of scenery pictures I want to use for my wall gallery in uh, Rocky Pine Retreat. Probably be here, I said an hour. I need, always need to double or triple the amount of time and I'm not in no hurry. It's uh, a gray day, as you can see outside. And yeah, look at this. Live in the moment. Live in the moment. Another thing that I do, but I need that reminder in my face. So these are Say It Display It cards. For those of you who are new, you can go to sayitdisplayit.com. There's all kinds of themed collections. That's Daily Dose. And the other one I showed you was, uh, yeah, that was Daily Dose also. Anyways, we're gonna get going, scrolling, scrolling pictures like I was doing the other day. I also have a new gadget here I wanna show you. I wanna transfer my photos. I made a comment the other day that I'm having a difficult time pulling them off the cloud. I don't want to upload them all to the computer and then download them to a hard drive because uh, I found out that, you know, 
computers now from seven years ago don't have the same memory and it's just just as good or better to put them on an external hard drive that you can buy for fifty sixty dollars i've had this for a while this is a passport but i bought this after doing some research i bought an iphone otg card reader and this will connect hopefully we're not going to do it right now this will connect to my phone and uh, the external hard drive let's just see if this fits right now this just came in the other like yesterday and i'm just i'm just that curious sort oh yeah it fits so as long as this fits into my iphone which i it said it would then i'm hoping that i can transfer photos right from my iphone to the external hard drive how cool is that it took me hours and hours of research but that's how you learn too you know, you do your own research, like they keep saying about this old world that we're living in. And what's really going on, you got to do your research. I've got the Kodak paper. So once I find the photos that I'm going to print, I'll, uh, I'll do that. And then uh, I will uh, start to put them in the frames. I'm not going to actually show them to you hung on the wall because that is going to come with the new series um it's starting on let's see here sister got me this cute little calendar i think i, I thought i was going to make a digital calendar but i i've not taken the time to do that all right yeah this one this show is going to be the first of the series started on the 27th i'm doing it for of march i'm doing it for five sundays in a row we're going to do the kitchen area with my fulfillment area where I fulfill orders, uh, which is in the kitchen area. Then we're gonna go into the living room, a sleeping area, and then we'll do the bathroom and the um, closet. You know, they might be as much as this babbling brook talks, I don't know, 12, 15 minutes. YouTube likes you to do at least a 12 minute video. Then we're going to go outside and I'll show you. Um, yeah, show you. It'll be springtime in April. Beautiful. So it's going to be five Sundays starting March 27th, which is already, you can catch the first one. And then uh, every sun for four more Sundays in April. All right. We're going to keep working on this particular project for the day. And hope well, I just might be here all day. Reminiscing fun times. It's only a handful of times that I had someone take my picture, but I uh, was just in awe and amazement. Look at that. That's Bryce Canyon, April 2019. I was on my way to Washington to work as a camp host, and uh, if you've been following me, you know the mice chased me out of town, and I ended up at Bryce for the rest of the summer. So this was my very first time there. Exciting. And here is all the mishmash that I did the other day. Of all the places, not all the places, but these are pictures that I starred and I just start getting carried away. And Bryce Canyon. I'm looking for these that I circled to uh, go back and, and print. So yeah, snow in April in Utah. Beautiful. I think this is the winner. This one that says Bryce Canyon and snow, you can barely read it. But I don't have a snow picture. And a few videos back, I was showing you snow here and was reminiscing about when was the last time I saw snow. I don't think I mentioned Bryce. Maybe I did. But that's a beauty. That's a winner. Photo paper, four by six. I'm gonna print that one from Bryce. I don't think I want that one in a five by seven. I don't know why, because that decision could change tomorrow. I'm just gonna go like that. And then I'm gonna use my phone to find the photo and print it. So it's been going for probably 30 seconds now. Not sure how long it takes to print can't remember. My iCloud saved all my favorites on my phone. Just took a while. I have 1,888 favorites. 
<laughs> oh my gosh. We are not going to be printing that many. All right, we'll just keep going here. I'll show you the finished picture. 30 seconds later, it's working hard. <gasps> I think I see it coming out. No? I don't know. Fun times. It's a little tray here. Ooh, receiving data. Come on, picture. Here we have it. Yeah, working at home. Love it. Looks pretty dang accurate too. All right, we've got several more to do. And then I'm gonna show you putting one in a frame. Ooh, now we're on to Arches National Park. Three days later, decided to take a little lunch break while I'll eat and work. Pizza and photos. This was cooked in the air fryer the other day I showed you. A little GA. And I love the, this is like a dramatic looking picture to me. A break from hiking. <laughs> Living life large as I wish for you. Fun times. Back to the countertop workspace. It's nice to stand up. I have been sitting at that computer for hours now looking at photographs. I have no idea why I thought it was just going to take me an hour to do this. I got lost in the memories. I just, I'm going to cut a couple five by sevens. I'm using uh, Kodak matte paper now. I was using glossy, so we're going to see how that turns out. Uh, I want to print a five by seven before I stop for the day. I need to, um, look at this with fresh eyes in the morning, but I think I, I know which five by seven I'm gonna print out just to see how it how it looks printed. I'm, I drew a frame, I've done one already. I just cut through in the inside here and I'm using my cutter. I have these stored in my closet. I have four different ones. Um, I've got like wavy and I don't know, these are from back in the day, creative memories you might recognize some of you. And this one changes all kinds of blades. And then I also have a laminator. I just didn't want to sell these things. And I'm really glad I didn't because now I'm using them, which is really, really fun. I think everything here in uh, Rocky Pine Retreat, I thought it through, am I using this? And, you know, or will I use it? Because uh, I, I sold a ton of stuff. And one of my biggest fears is that I sell something, not a fear, but, you know, like a regret or something. Like, oh, why did I sell that? I needed it. So I didn't want to give up these trimmers. I've used them for a lot of different things. This is a Fiskars now, and I just put a new blade on it. So we'll see how this works. I'm cutting, I am actually cutting it a little bit larger than the frame, the template size, the frame that I used. Um, I'm calling this the inside, the template. Uh, because the actual photo frame is a little bit this is less than a five by seven so if I have a little bit of edge for the printing part of it then it'll just be covered inside the frame I have no idea if that makes any sense at all but we're just going to do a quick slice here and then over on the other side too this is really easy to line up forgot how easy this was and how much fun it is to cut paper so there we have it see Ta -da. pretty much the same size just a tad bigger so I'm gonna go print one of these see how it turns out with the mat it's raining out now it's really nice it's been a nice day uh, it's mid-afternoon so I think I'm gonna call it quits here in a minute but I will we'll come back and I'll show you how this prints out and we'll put it in one of the frames. And then, as I mentioned earlier, um, I'm doing that five-part series started on Sunday, uh, where I'm dividing up the cabin into sections, and I'm gonna show you my decorating and my organizing. So anyways, that's that for now, and we'll go back to the computer and the printer. This means it's time to quit, right? <laughs> Turn off the lights and go home.
and I don't like the mat. I was doing an up close and personal because I remember being in Maine and just pulling alongside the road and taking photographs. And so that's a very cool memory um, that I just grab things in the moment. Uh, so that's why this is completely full with leaves. But when I look at it, thinking about it in a frame, mm, I'm not sure. But I don't like the mat, so now I'm gonna try a gloss. Well, I think you can hear the rain now. Matte, glossy, put in the comments. I like them both, but I think I like the glossy better. Maybe it has to do with the photo. Anyways, here's the one I'm gonna frame right now. Love watching the waves and catching a picture just right, just right. And there's a seagull right there, it's awesome. So we're gonna, we are going to take a little tape. And I'm going to tape, no big deal here, I'm not really measuring, just covering over top of the glass. I did clean the glass with a little vinegar water probably the first time in my life. <laughs> it looked kind of uh, a little smudgy. So we'll put the cardboard in. I printed about, I don't know, seven or eight more four by sixes. So yeah, we'll keep those for the uh, car SUV minivan workshop upcoming maybe in May. Don't hold me to it, but I'm turning the idea. I've got a game with my pictures. Looking pretty. What do you think, guys? I am going to hang these on the wall, make a little gallery. And then we, we printed this one. This was in Texas. I think this was, that's going to go really pretty, and I didn't even plan that. And then the one that I just showed you, I think I'll put in this little gold frame here. And then we've got two four by sixes, but I've got about, I don't know, 20, 22 to choose from. So that'll about do her for today. I hope you enjoyed this uh, project in Rocky Pine Retreat. You will subscribe, click the bell, share with your friends how they too can have a fun, serene, and simple life. With that, blessings in your day and joy in your photographs.